Okay, so now I'm done with making my color edits. So I'm gonna hit L, or I'm gonna hit G rather, and oops, let me get all the, this thing right here. Go back to my library, there we go, finally. And in my library, um, I'm over here and I've got this kind of all set up, and it's going well. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to, if of those color edits, I'm gonna select all of them, and now I'm gonna make another collection. So here I'm gonna do the best of, and I'm creating a second collection. These are also gonna be virtual copies, and this is gonna be the client's name. And this is gonna be my black and whites. I'll hit create. So those are all there. I'm gonna hit command A to select them all. So I got them ready to go. I'm in my black and white collection. I go back to the develop module. I'll turn off the before and after because I don't need to see that right now. I'm gonna make sure auto sync is on in this case. And if I hit the BW for black and white, boom. So I've got that all set up and it's ready to go. And I've got my basic black and white done. And that's the quick and easy way to, to make a black and white conversion that's a, a better black and white conversion. But you may find that some things that look good in color maybe not look as good in black and white. So for instance, I'm you know, these are headshots, these aren't kind of fine art. So in this case here, what I'm gonna do is is the skin tones are pretty bright in this sense here. So I'm actually gonna lower these down so they're not quite so dark um, because it doesn't really kind of match her skin so much. So I'm lowering these down so that there's a bit of a, a more of a tone to her skin, so that's not quite so um, strong there, and that's going to allow me to have kind of a, a, a closer overall look. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do in this case right here, and I do this a lot, is to go to effects, and I like to add a little vignette to kind of darken the background so they, the client kind of pops out of that background just a little bit more because we don't have color working so we don't have skin against that bluish backdrop anymore so I'm going to let the, the tones, the contrast work in my favor just a little bit more to, to make that pop. Um, it's often that you might go around and need to make some adjustments overall with either the black and white menu or in the, the tone. So in the tone here let me see if I wanted to play some of my darks. Um, maybe not quite as dark. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to go a little darker here. Maybe light's a little darker too. So you can kind of figure out what's that right um, that right tonal shift for you. And then just like we did with color, it would be good for you to kind of go each one. Because you may find that there's certain ones that you want a little bit more. So like this one, I like overall. But maybe on this one, I do want a light and up those highlights so it's it's a little bit coming out and maybe maybe those darks are just a little too dark where I don't get detail in the hair so I, I kind of want to find that sweetness that 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 best look for that person in those areas another thing you might want to be careful on is if you zoom in make sure that that color in that spot over there really stand out because if they don't that would be a good place to um, to get off the auto sync and so I don't have the auto sync anymore and I might want to do another kind of local adjustment so this time I'm going to do an adjustment brush and what I'll do here on this adjustment brush is I'm going to shrink this down quite a bit and I'm just going to kind of trace the color area of the eyes in this case and I don't want them too over too brighten up but I'm just going to add a little bit of brightness to them. So if I was to turn that off, you can kind of see before, and you can see kind of on, and I'm just kind of lighting these up just a tiny bit. So that they pop from that, that center of the eye, the pupil of an eye, and I'll hit done, and I'm just doing that as kind of to make that client look best in that situation there. And now I'm done with my black and white edits. I'll go back to the library module and I've got those done.